Hey guys, so I have these decorative boxes in my house for Christmas decorations. If you want to see how I made them, stay tuned. So I had some boxes hanging around and I had this wall that I just felt was really blank. So I thought that I'd make these huge decorative Christmas boxes and just kind of fill up the area and make the house look more festive. And of course, these were very cheap to make. It's all from the dollar store. So everything all together cost me about five dollars to make so right now what you see me doing is uh, taping the box closed and then I'm going to put the wrapping paper on the floor and then I'm going to just basically wrap up the box so I start off with the sides and then I'm flipping it over and I'm going to just kind of wrap it around the whole box and then I'm going to work on the top of the box Now these boxes were originally from moving, we just kept them in the closet as storage but I thought that it would be nice to just use them up as props for Christmas and they came in really handy. Um, luckily I had three so basically I just used all three. And I used two different colors for wrapping. I had a red wrapping paper and I had some gold wrapping paper. It kind of goes along with my Christmas theme anyways. It's red, uh, gold, and silver. I didn't get any silver wrapping paper because I just didn't know how it was going to look but uh, next time I'd probably get one of each and just uh, wrap each box up with a different style of wrapping paper. But anyway, so as you see now, I'm basically giving you guys a close-up of how I did everything. So I'm taping up the box closed. That makes it easier because when you have an open box, it just looks bulkier and sometimes the flaps will lift up. So this just makes it easier to wrap and just to stay wrapped. And what you see me doing is basically What you see me doing basically is just taping down the wrapping paper on one end to kind of anchor it and stop it from moving. And you also want to keep track and make sure that it's not creasing or it's not wrinkling. You should always just take your time and make sure that everything is seamless. And so I'm going to transition to the bottom of the box. And the bottom of the box I wasn't too careful with only because no one would see it. So I just kind of did it half ass. Well, I didn't cover it all the way, but I did make sure that all the corners were crisp. And at the top now, this is the part that I was more careful with just because it's the top and that's where people see the most. So you do want to take your time with that and try to make it as perfect as you can. The top of this one, I didn't make it too perfect only because it wouldn't really show under the box, but the corners that were showing, I did make sure to have them symmetrical and there you go so those are the three boxes that I made um, the burgundy one I did buy a bow to put on it just because it's gonna be on the top so I'm just arranging them and I think they look really nice in the corner they look quite festive and they fill up the spot really nicely so I just wish my walls were a different color but it's an apartment and I'm not here for too long so that's it and um, also so this is what the boxes look like and I really like how they turned out and I also got a bow that glows in the dark. I just thought that it would be quite festive and when the lights were off you know it could kind of be something to glow. So yeah that's it. Thank you guys for watching my video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!